Good morning, everybody. I'm out here in Navarre. Um, about to take my kayak offshore for the first time this year and uh, the first time in the outback that I've been out offshore in it. Um, trigger fish is still open, so gonna try to go get my one. There's been some red porgy caught out here as well. Um, so I'm hopefully try to get some of those. Come back with a little bit of meat besides just the uh, one trigger fish. So surf isn't bad at all. It's only about one foot or less. <clears throat> um, it's a little chilly out here this morning, but it's supposed to warm up into the mid 70s. So it should be a great day out on the water. I'm gonna make kind of a quick trip. Just get out there, get my meat and get back in. Um, before this video even starts, hey, hit that subscribe button down below and hit a like button. Just uh, leave, drop me a comment too. Let me know how, uh, how you like the videos. Uh, stay tuned for the action. Hopefully we can find some fish. So I'm going to take a video of me launching, but it was a little, the shore break was snapping pretty bad. So I waited out just past it, um, just above my waist to uh, get in the kayak, but launched with no problems. Uh, did forget my sunglasses in the truck, I realized. And uh, with the uh, surf the way it is, it's not bad, but I don't want to risk it trying to go back in and try to launch again. So I'm just going to send it. It's going to be a quick trip anyway, hopefully. Get out, get some fish, get back in. So, let's see what else happens. All right, we're out here at the first spot. I'm off the edge of it right now, trying to get my drift set up. And the reef is off to my left. I'm already marking fish way outside of it, rolled over it, and there was a bunch of fish on it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be using a double dropper rig with uh, some cut squid. Just trying to get some trigger fish, see what else we can find down there. Hopefully we get a big one. All right, so I tied these double droppers myself. It's a 40 pound mono leader and then a three aught circle hood. Using a three ounce weight. I'm gonna get back over this and uh, drop it down. Just hooked a couple of pieces of squid on there. And hopefully we can get a big trigger. trying to get over where I saw the most fish. There's some nice marks right there. So that north wind has got a cross chop going on. The swells are a little bit bigger than I expected, but still very manageable. All right, I'm gonna drop it. Already got hits. And fish on. Feels decent. Eh, small trigger. But that's the species we're after. Let's see if we can find a bigger one. There we go. A little bigger is still too small. They have very sharp teeth. You don't want to get your fingers anywhere near their mouths because they will bite appendages off. Small fish. Definitely fish we're after. Just 
can't find the bigger ones just yet. I was getting up in the small triggers at that spot, so after about catching four or five of them, gonna try a different spot. There's plenty of these reefs all patched out through here. Um, they're between like a mile and two out for like a two mile stretch out here. So there's a lot of reefs to be fished and a lot of area to cover. So we'll just try a different one and see if we can't find some bigger ones. That's the great thing about pedal drive. I'm still moving, baiting up for the next drop. So saving a lot of time. My old kayak, being a paddle kayak, I would have had to stop, bait up the hook, keep paddling, especially in this wind, keep getting moved off the spot, have to readjust. I can do, I can multitask now. Makes things so much easier. All right, this is a better feeling fish here. Still feels like it might be a trigger fish the way it's fighting. Oh yeah, much better trigger fish. So I think this one actually might be legal size. Tangled up here. Right. Hook out of them, throw them on the board and measure them. Love these stealth rod holders, by the way, still too. Just locking them in, in between fighting fish. Makes it so easy. It's cleared. Chill out. Oh yeah, so he is 16 to the fork, and I think they gotta be, I think it might be total length. So about 16 and a half, almost 17. All right, got a keeper. Given the conditions today and I'm trying to make a quick trip, I'm probably gonna go ahead and keep this one try to see if I can't get some red porgy or something now go to a little bit smaller hook see if I might be able to maybe even find some mangrove we'll see but off to a good start catching fish caught a legal trigger so successful day so far all right drop down on that same reef again immediately hooked up that's about the same size as the other one, but they're a lot bigger on this reef, it seems like. Doesn't seem like there's quite as many fish, but the ones that are down there are bigger. Oh, give me my hook back. Another decent trigger. Moved off to the next reef. After catching a couple decent ones off that other one, just seeing what else I can find. Of course, immediately hooked up on this one. I don't know, a decent feeling fish, but can't quite tell. Another about the same size trigger.
another small fish on. All I'm catching is trigger fish so far today. They're just loaded out here. Yeah, the limit's only one per person. But we got doubled up. We got a, ooh, we got a nice mingo. That actually is probably legal uh, beeliner snapper. And then we got a trigger fish. Now the trigger fish, to me, they aren't exactly the prettiest fish, but they have some beautiful blue streaks in them. But then these mingos are great eating. And they gotta be, I believe, 10, 10 or 12 inches and it might actually make legal length. It'll be nice to get another fish in the bag. Good hooks out. It's been a long time since I've caught a bee liner. It's out. He's all up under my seat. Fish him out again. All right, there we go. Awesome. Total length, he's right at 12 inches. I'm gonna check my phone real quick, see what the size limit is, but I do believe it's 10 inches. Just double check, make sure he's legal. All right, so after checking the regulations, in Gulf waters, they do have to be 10 inch minimum. And this one's 12 inches, so this one's going in the bag too. These are great eating fish. I would actually much rather eat these than a red snapper. Um, another, these are actually Vermilion snappers, true name, but they go by Bee Liner and uh, Mingo as well. Um, the meat is uh, very sweet on it. Uh, and a lot better eating than just a regular red snapper to me. So I awesome that I caught that. All right, so I switched over to my uh, pin 980 mag power. Uh, dropping it down, it's 20 pound mono on here. Got a 30 pound leader with uh, some two watt circle hooks. Um, I'm using Moostad Demon Circles, uh, perfect circles. They're the only ones that I really use and like for any kind of uh, fishing with circle hooks. But uh, going to a little bit lighter setup, see if I can't find some more of those Vermilions. Uh, try to get past some of these triggers, but a little bit smaller presentation because they're a little bit smaller fish. Uh, let's see, see if I can't get on them. All right, well, we got our third species of the day. Small red snapper. Of course, they're out of season right now, so. Let this guy go, get bigger. Hopefully, we can get a few 25 inchers this year, maybe even another 30 incher like I caught a few years ago during the season. All right, we're gonna try one more drop on here and then move off to another one. All right, so I think Flipper kind of killed the bite over that reef a little bit. I was having some hits, but I just couldn't get anything on. So I used up that little box of squid that I was using. Um, now I'm gonna switch it up. This is the Overcast Lures uh, squid fish. Uh, it works great in the kayak with that big lip. It gets down pretty deep. Um, I'm thinking it may dive about 15, 20 feet. Um, I can cruise at about three miles an hour, so it should get it down pretty deep. I'm just gonna run over. You can see all these reefs are back to back to back. I'm just gonna troll back and forth and see what I can get on this. There aren't any kings around right now, so I've got 80 pound mono on here. Should be fine, shouldn't have any issues. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have my rod to my Ford. And luckily these uh, stealth rod holders are super tough. I'm not gonna worry about it breaking. Got my arm to keep the rod away from my pedals and everything. And I can keep an eye on that tip, watching for hits. And so let's see what we can do with this. All right, as you're able to see, got the lure trolling out behind me now. I'm actually able to keep the reel outside of the cam because it locks it in. I don't have to worry about it going anywhere keep it at a good keep the rod at a perfect angle with the backbone where it should be and we're just gonna cruise over these reefs and see what happens all right we hooked up something trolling over the reef Hoping it's just gonna be a nice snapper. Decent fish feels like. I 
been trolling for quite a few minutes, so I was beginning to wonder. Let's see what we got. Got color deep, I can't quite tell. I actually think this is a big trigger fish. Not really big, about the same size as the other ones I've caught, but I can't believe a trigger fish hit that. That's amazing. Oh, not bad trigger fish at all. So, guess they will hit a trolling bait too. Actually, might be the biggest of the day. He might be about 17 inches. But I've already got the other one in the bag, so I'm not gonna worry about trying to swap out or anything. Don't want to waste. But he hammered that. Can't believe he got that big treble in his mouth. All right, another hookup over a reef. See what we got this time. Looks like another trigger fish. Oh, foul hooked right in the eye. You wanted it though. Man, rough day for you, buddy. Got a big turtle right over here. It's always so cool seeing them out here. Well, that's gonna do it for the day, everybody. Um, not a bad day of fishing. Caught a bunch of triggers. Uh, one small snapper, got that vermilion snapper as well. So got a little bit of meat to come home with. Um, got some bites on the troll, which was cool. But I didn't feel myself coming in. I'm kind of glad I didn't. Um, first time with all my gear coming in with the uh, Outback. And it was looking sketchy, so I was backing it in. And still looked sketchy. So I bailed out and grabbed the nose, but a wave still caught the kayak and rolled it. Luckily, a few things did fall out. Lifeguard was out here. He helped me find a couple of things I lost. Uh, one rod is broken. Luckily, it's a cheap rod. It's going to be easy to replace. Um, could have been way worse. Uh, just go to show. It's, I've done a lot of entries um, coming back in in my old kayak, and this one just does not perform the same. And so I got to get it figured out a little bit. Don't need to be uh, breaking stuff constantly like that. But it was still a great day to be out on the water wind wasn't too bad uh, just the surf was up so thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the like button too and i'll catch you guys next time thank you